we have a science fair grand champion that has won the whole thing here by creating a GMO detection device. This is pretty interesting, especially when it comes to GMOs, all the people out there wondering what products really are GMO. We've talked about this before. For those that missed it, they have approved in this country Okanagan apples. These are GMO apples on the shelves here in this country that do not brown. They messed with the enzymes. They are GMO. This is the beginning. I warned about it when it happened, but those videos only make it so far. All you can continue to do is to try to educate people as to what's happening. Now, in terms of, in terms of GMOs in this country, Monsanto, Syngenta, back a few years ago, they put up this big fight try to have all this stuff put on the shelves with no labeling and people started biting back like no we want to know what we're eating we have a right to know we have a right to know everything about it so there was a huge debate that went back and forth and now enter this little device that this guy just created where it kind of it mimics the temperature of a plant with the DNA, and he can tell, like for instance, he tested soy burger, chips, and cornmeal, and it was all GMO. And he tested another product, and it was not. But he's got to refine this, but it just shows that little time, effort, and knowledge, you never know what you could come up with, and this could be key down the road in really separating the good from the bad, big time. If you have a cheap, quick way to test all the food, that, that's a good thing to have around. So he says he's got to refine it some. You could see larger scale devices like this down the road for commercial use. Like I'm talking large scale, probably around $2,000 or so, but cost him right around $100 or so to make this was working on this for 20 hours a week since this past December. But this, this is what he came up with, and it's pretty interesting. A little device like this. They can detect the uh, GMOs. Some more details here at this link. I'll leave it in the description. It's been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.